On January 17, 2008, a British Airways Boeing 777-200 was operating Flight 38 from Beijing to London. On board the aircraft were 152 people. The flight departed from Beijing and headed toward London. The aircraft was operated by an experienced crew, including Captain Peter Burkill, a highly skilled pilot with over 12,000 flight hours. The first officer, John Coward, had logged over 9,000 flight hours, and the relief first officer, Connor McGuinness, had more than 5,000 flight hours. The flight path of Flight 38 crossed over Mongolia, Siberia, and the Scandinavian Peninsula at altitudes ranging from 10,650 to 12,200 meters, with outside temperatures ranging from minus 65 to minus 74 degrees Celsius. Aware of the low temperatures, the pilots monitored the fuel temperature, planning to descend to warmer atmospheric layers if necessary. However, the fuel temperature remained above minus 34 degrees Celsius, which was well above freezing. Despite the fuel temperature staying within safe limits, water within the fuel froze and accumulated on the inner surfaces of the fuel lines, likely where they passed through the engine pylons. This ice did not affect the flight until the final stages of the approach to Heathrow Airport. During descent, increased fuel flow, rising temperatures, and turbulence caused ice to dislodge, forming slushy ice that moved through the fuel lines and eventually accumulated in the fuel oil heat exchanger. This component, consisting of many small diameter steel tubes, facilitates the heating of fuel entering the engines and the cooling of engine oil. The ice blocked fuel flow to the engines. The first signs of fuel starvation were noted at an altitude of 220 meters, 3 kilometers from the runway threshold, when both engines failed to respond to the autothrottle's command to increase thrust. At 60 meters, the autopilot reduced speed to 200 km per hour and disengaged at 45 meters. The first officer continued manual piloting while the captain reduced the flap angle to decrease drag and prolong glide time. The aircraft crossed a road and touched down on grass approximately 270 meters from the runway threshold. Moments before impact, the captain sent a distress signal. Upon landing, the nose gear collapsed, the right main gear detached and punctured the central fuel tank and fuselage, while the left main gear penetrated the wing. Despite significant fuel leaks, no fire occurred. Four crew members and eight passengers sustained minor injuries. The investigation into the accident was conducted by the UK's Air Accidents Investigation Branch with input from the US National Transportation Safety Board, Boeing, and Rolls-Royce. Preliminary reports and safety recommendations were issued, but the exact cause remained unclear for some time. Eventually, the investigation determined that the loss of thrust in both engines resulted from restricted fuel flow due to ice accumulation within the fuel system. The ice, formed during prolonged flight in cold conditions, clogged the fuel oil heat exchanger during the high fuel flow of final descent. The fuel system design met certification requirements of the time, but those requirements did not account for such ice formation risks, as the phenomenon was previously unknown. The investigation highlighted design issues in the aircraft's safety features. The placement of the main landing gear attachment points on the rear wing spar, which also served as the rear wall of the fuel tanks, increased the risk of fuel leaks during accidents. Boeing was advised to modify this design to reduce such risks in the future. The damaged Boeing 777-200 was deemed beyond repair and was scrapped in April 2009. A similar incident occurred on February 1, 1985, involving a 2134 during takeoff from Minsk due to frozen fuel, but that's another story. If you'd like to support the content, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel.